number six. It's another bad hair day in the Laura's household. But that aside, every day's a bad hair day for me. People often ask me, what the f are you eating now? Then they might ask me, after they've got used to that, they might ask me, what is it you put in that green you eat? And so I'm gonna show you. This is how I take my kefir every day. The first ingredient is kefir. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. So that's been there for 24 hours. Chuck that in. All ready to make a new batch. Just add milk. And on the point of fermenting, this is fermented garlic and it's fermented in honey. Now you would think that garlic being a uh, antibacterial would not create bacteria and you think that honey being a preservative would not create bacteria either but this stuff it actually tastes really nice you're not supposed to eat honey on a ketogenic diet but you can get away with a little bit when this is put in here you just put garlic into the honey and leave it and you have to have one of these jars that you can release the lid on so that uh, the air can get out because it does actually ferment, which is crazy when you think about it. Well, I guess mead is fermented and that comes straight from honey. If you don't want to eat raw garlic, take some of this and it's just as good. First off, I put powders in. There's all sorts of things from chlorella, chlorella to spirulina. I also put in beef gelatin. That's good for, the, for muscle building. Collagen, good for your hair, well, for a lot of people's hair. And if I've done a workout, I'll put in some protein powder. I put in raw cacao. I shall explain the difference between cacao and cocoa later. Some L-glutamine. Linseed. Chia seeds. Maca powder. And one of these. I sometimes have two avocados in a day, but I'm that wild. Little scoop, that's about, I don't know, 10 mil. Probably a tablespoon. This is what makes my green green. Half a scoop of that. And because the Mediterranean diet is so healthy, I chuck some organic olive oil in. Just a couple of spoonfuls. Okay, so the Japanese diet is pretty healthy too, but I don't go putting fish in there. Although that is marine collagen, so maybe I do. Finish it off with some ground cinnamon, lovely. Obviously, you can put in whatever you like. How often have you bought one of these and thought to yourself... Look at the size of that nut. Well, it's a stone, not a nut. But you can treat it like a nut. Because when they're a bit more a bit less ripe, or maybe a bit more ripe, I don't know. They just pop out quite easily. But don't throw it away. You can cut this into four and drop it in there. Now, it's best not to try and do it with this because they are a little bit slippery. Leave that for one day or two days I get one. This one's this one's way smaller. But get one that's dried out. Chop that up. After two days, the skin comes off a lot easier. Sometimes maybe three days. Depends on how warm the temperature is in the house. Well, it's usually a lot easier than that. 
I've also got my kale, a little bit of dandelion, obviously put in whatever you want, don't put the cat in, neighbours complain about the noise. Chuck that in there. I also throw in some blueberries because the blue colour is really good for you. It has, it's got something in it, I'm not sure, I don't know what it is, it's something. Same as in red wine. Chuck that in there. Come on, get on with it. There are people who will tell you there is a specific way of peeling an avocado. I don't know if I buy that. I think you just scoop it out. Maybe when they're not quite so ripe when you, and you've got to peel them and there's a certain way. But I don't know what it is, so I can't tell you. I've left that for a couple of hours for the simple reason the chia seeds will start to sprout. When they sprout they actually change their molecular, they change their, they change. They change their nutrients and become much more nutrient enhanced and that Basically, here's my green shit. It's that Vince Vega moment. While you're here, let's talk about the environment again. Do you squirt all sorts of carcinogenic substances all around your shower? Stop it right now. Get yourself an old bottle and some cheap vinegar, third full of vinegar, two thirds of water. You can squirt that stuff all over the place, does exactly the same job. Save the planet, save your money, save yourself. You're not getting it on your skin, you're not breathing it in, everything's hunky-dory. And here's one, not really an exercise, but it's a meridian enlivener. If you know anything about acupuncture, you know there's energy lines. I'll get into energy medicine in another episode. But there are energy lines in the body. The body's made of energy. Well, it is energy. Just a simple brush. This one's specifically made for the task. And you brush in towards the heart, up the legs, start at the feet, up the legs, bring it all up and just, you'll feel great afterwards. And it costs nothing to do, three quid. Another thing, costs absolutely nothing, a spoon. Just scrape your tongue from as far back as you can do without gagging and then all that on there is what your stomach has thrown out during the night and you don't want it it's not your body doesn't want it it's chucking it out scrape it off flush it away anyway if you don't mind following on from the tongue scraping Hippocrates 
said there were four elements that affected the health of a human. In the Chinese system, they have five elements, and also in the Ayurvedic, which is the Indian system, which have been around for 5,000 years, both of them. Um, Hippocrates, 2,000, 2, 3,000, I don't know, long time. And these things are still true today. There are different elements that work in the body. Each major organ, your stomach, your liver, your heart, your kidneys, and your lungs, are associated with different times of year. So this time of year, which is the winter, that is to do with the kidneys and urination. Urination will dispel all of your toxins. You can flush all your toxins out through urination in the winter. In the summer, it is sweating, so it's good to sweat. And in the autumn, it is breathing. In the spring, it is muscular activity, burns toxins out. These things work throughout the year, but they specifically work harder at those certain times. So the tongue is to do with the stomach, and the stomach works all year long, because there are only four seasons, and the stomach covers all seasons. So your stomach will chuck out toxins all year long, and that is why, first thing in the morning, it's a good idea to scrape your tongue. There are also different foods associated with different organs. So if you're trying to strengthen your, let's say you're trying to strengthen your lungs, the best time to do that is in the autumn and eat loads of raw garlic, uh, eat onions and leeks, shallots, all the allium family. They're all really good for you. There are also prebiotics. So your good bacteria in your stomach will feed on onions in the summer Things like strawberries, very good for the heart. Same shape as the heart, isn't it really, if you think about it? So this is the end of number six. Down below, you will find links to number one, two, three, four, and five. If you haven't seen them yet, why not? They all lead on, there's so much information there. Well, there's 10 minutes worth in each one. So, you know, enjoy yourselves and stay healthy. Happy solstice, a belated happy solstice. Uh, this is the first of the month, so Happy New Year in the Western tradition. And a very happy Chris Xmas. Of course, it's all the same thing really, isn't it? It's all the same thing. Happy New Year! Oh, Jesus!